again. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very interesting article I saw on the magazine Money Sense about Canada's best places for new immigrants 2015. Uh, this magazine ranked the 10 best places to live in Canada if you're a newcomer, if you're a recent immigrant. Based on um, employment, rental property, the percentage of population from that city uh, with, uh, who are newcomers, who are immigrants as well, etc. So, uh, in 10th place we have Stratford, Ontario. The city has a 5.3% of unemployment rate, 6.2% uh, of their population uh, are immigrants, and the average rent for one bedroom unit is $829. In ninth place, we have the city of Port Moody, BC. BC stands for British Columbia, the province of British Columbia. Uh, so, the city of Port Moody has an estimated employment rate of 5.4%, 28%, so more than one fourth, more than one quarter of the population are immigrants, and uh, the average rent for one bedroom unit. Uh, is usually above $1,000 mark, so around $1,181. Of course, these are average values. It could be more, it could be less. So, in, oh, in eighth place, we have the city of Port Coquitlam, also in the province of British Columbia. This city, Port Coquitlam, has an estimated unemployment rate for year 2015 a 4.9%. 27.8%, so again, more than one quarter of their population are immigrants. And the average rent for one bedroom unit is uh, below the $1,000 mark, so In 7th place, we have the city of Gatineau, Quebec. Uh, this city has an uh, estimated employment rate for 2015 of 6.6%. 9.2% of their population are immigrants, and the average rent for one bedroom unit is around $751, so well below the $1,000 mark. In 6th place, we have the city of Burlington, Ontario, with an estimated unemployment rate of 4.3%, so below uh, other uh, cities. 17.4% uh, of their population are immigrants, and the average rent for one bedroom unit is around $1,199, so above the $1,000 mark. In fifth place, we have Ottawa, Ontario. Ottawa, which is the capital of Canada. So, to live in Ottawa, uh, you should count with uh, an estimated unemployment rate for 2015 of 6.9%. 20.6% .6 of your population are immigrants. And, as it is the capital, the average rent for one bedroom unit is above the $1,000 mark, so around $1,134, according to this website. In fourth place, we have the city of Waterloo, Ontario, with an estimated unemployment rate of 5%, 24.6%, so almost one quarter of the population are immigrants, and the average rent of 
for one bedroom unit uh, is just above the $1,000 mark, so $1,024. Of course, this is an average value. Now we enter on, your, on our top three. In third place, we have the city of Broussard, Quebec, uh, which is to, seems to be a very small city, according to the, this picture. Uh, the city has an estimate of employment rate of 4.9%, 35.9% here, 35.9%, so uh, of their population are immigrants which is the highest number of that we saw from all these cities until now in terms of immigrant population in one specific city uh, and the average rent for one bedroom unit is around $751 so uh, not bad and compared to other cities that pass the $1,000 mark in second place we have the city of Delta BC, BC, British Columbia, with an estimated unemployment rate of 4.8%, uh, 27.2%, so more than one quarter of the population are immigrants, and the average rent for one bedroom unit is just a little above the $1,000 mark as well. And in first place, The city that many cents considers the best city to live in Canada in 2015 if you're a new immigrant is the city of Saanich, BC. Saanich. I think I, that's the way you pronounce it. Saanich, BC. With an estimate unemployment rate of 4%. Uh, not bad compared to other cities, uh, especially Ottawa with 6.9%, uh, among others. 17.1% uh, of the population are immigrants and the average rent for one bedroom unit is just a little more than $1,000 mark. So here you go. I hope that this ranking uh, help you to choose the city you want to live in in Canada. Um, many cents uh, besides the employment rate and um, the percentage of population that are immigrants and if housing is affordable or not they also took in, in consideration other factors such as the weather uh, that's why the city that is in the first place has this very pretty beach that we see here in the picture um, but in quality of life in general so I hope this video was useful for you. Any questions, uh, comments, please feel free to, uh, to express your opinion about it. If you agree, if you disagree. And see you on our next video. Bye.